discusses about the DC compound and the gas. In the last video, we discussed about shunt and series generators. According to the method of connection of shunt field winding and series field winding, the compound generators are classified into two types that is long shunt and short shunt. If the shunt field winding is connected across the both the armature and series field flexes, then it is long shunt generator. That may be shunt field winding may be long. This shunt field winding may be represented as Z and Z. It is connected across both. Now, what is the voltage and current relationships belongs to long shunt compound generator? We will discuss now. Now, from this IA equal to ISC, that equal to ISH plus IL. That is the one equation, one current the equations in this uh, long shunt compound generator we are given. Next, another one is ISH is voltage across R ISH, RSH, V by RSH is ISH. That means current through shunt field winding is given by voltage across the shunt field winding divided by resistance of it and then it gives. Now what is the generated voltage for long shunt compound generator E is equal to according by applying KVL we can get what is the generated voltage or what is the voltage across the load we can get by this equation. E is equal to V plus IARA plus ISERSC plus VPC that is voltage across the load plus armature resistance drop plus series field resistance drop plus brush contact drop you can consider this also what is the generated voltage okay that is from this voltage across the load equal to V equal to EZ minus IARA minus ISC RS but brush contact drop is 2 volts we can take it or we can add next EZ equal to V plus IARA plus RS because IA equal to ISC in case of long compound generator, long shunt compound generator. Now we can write this equation as V plus IA, RA plus RS plus VPC. Now power developed in armature is EZ into IA is the power developed in armature. So in case of DC motors, EV into IA is mechanical power developed. Okay, this we have to remember. For longer time, EV into IA gives total mechanical power developed in DC motor. Okay, EZ means it is power developed in generator. Okay, now power delivered to load is power equal to V into I actually in DC. Similarly, V into IL, what is the total current passing through load that gives power delivered to load in DC compound generator. Now, similar to Long shunt, short shunt. If the shunt field winding is connected across the armature only, this is the armature terminals A and AA and having relations RA and voltage generated is EZ. Okay. Now, if the shunt field winding is connected across the armature only, then the compound generator may be termed as short shunt. Now, the current and voltage relationships similar to long shunt, that is IS equal to IS equal to IL in case of magnetic equation 1. Now IA equal to ISC plus ISH because IA is the total sum of ISC and ISH or IS equal to IL we can replace IL plus ISH. ISH equal to from this equation ISH equal to what is V by RSH but V plus ISC RSH by RSH for short shunt compound generator. Now E is equal to similar to by applying KVL, we have to write here or we can by KVL we can write E is V plus IRA plus ISC plus RSC plus VPC. If you want V voltage across load, we can conclude. Not only these two compound generators, long shunt and short shunt, according to the method of field winding and shunt field winding and series field winding. There are two field windings only in the compound generator. One is shunt field winding, another one is series field winding. If the shunt field winding and series field winding, both field windings are adding in nature, then it is a cumulative compound. If the shunt field winding is passing downwards, again series field winding pass also the same direction, then it is cumulative compound generator. There are three types of uh, Compound generator according to the field windings, field fluxes passing. 
if both fluxes shunt and series are adding in nature that is cumulative compound if the shunt field flux is like this if series field flux is like this homogeneous in nature then that type of generator is differential compound generator any one field differential compound generator is like this the shunt field is shunt field flux phi s change in one direction and the series field flux is another direction that means current flow shunt field winding is in one direction current flow series field winding is another direction that is isc is another direction that is phi s h and phi s c both are opposite in nature differential compound now what is the net flux phi equal to phi s h minus phi s c whereas in cumulative compound net flux total flux is phi s h plus phi s c but in case of differential compound phi total flux equal to phi s h minus phi s c in flat or level compound another type of compound generator is third one is flat or level compound in level compound generator any one of the flux can vary but the total flux remains constant that is flat or level compound generator okay next we go numerical problems based on shunt series compound generator. 